Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home and today I've got one of your most anticipated 4K reviews of the year. We're going to be taking a look at the Indiana Jones 4K collection. This is brand new to 4K. I ended up with the Steelbook version from Best Buy. I'll talk a little bit about why that happened and how that came to be. But we're going to cover the visuals. We'll cover the audio. We'll talk about the whole remastering process, dive into some of the packaging options and special features, and talk about ultimately whether this collection is worth upgrading for your collection. So let's jump right into the visuals for this release. And I'm going to pull in some screenshots here to illustrate what I'm talking about. And for this review, I am going to focus on the main three the original trilogy crystal skull is fine I just don't think many people care about it in this set it's a decent looking 4k but it's not really fair to compare it to the others because it's a lot newer and I want to focus on the remasters that were done on these three older movies so if I had to rank them I think the last crusade was the best of all the remasters followed by close second Raiders and then a pretty distant third the Temple of Doom now, The Last Crusade in all of the movies really did an excellent job at bringing back a much more natural color tone to these movies. The previous Blu-rays had a sort of oversaturated red-yellow hue to them, a little bit of a tint almost. People looked like they were sunburnt, skin tones were off, highlights were a little too bright, black levels were a little too washed out. It just wasn't a great picture looking back on it. I remember being impressed by it in 2012. 12, but 10 years into the future now, they're not as impressive and these 4K discs are much nicer. These 4K masters were supervised by Steven Spielberg and the folks at Lucasfilm and Paramount, so Spielberg was involved in this. The sound mixes were also had Spielberg in his team's involvement in Lucasfilm and Skywalker Sound. So overall, the whole transformation here was a passion project for that team and they they really did a great job. The biggest upgrades that you'll see clearly here in the screenshots is that HDR. This comes with both Dolby Vision and HDR10, so you have both options. But even just the HDR10, you can see how much better the new 4K picture looks over those previous Blu-ray releases. Everything is coming together here. The highlights are the right brightness. The skin tones are damn near perfect. Everything just looks and feels more natural, which is awesome because that's what we want. We want a natural filmic looking feel. And that's what we got from these three releases. So I give it really, really high marks for the HDR color grading. And that's a huge benefit to 4K that I still think gets overlooked a lot of times uh, in favor of the resolution. But here you're getting a transformative picture and it's by far the best that these movies have ever looked on physical media. Now I really liked The Last Crusade and Raiders and the reason the Temple of Doom kind of falls off for me is I actually found myself picking out some scenes on the Blu-ray that I liked better than the 4K just in terms of the HDR and the SDR and you know the way that the film was color graded which is odd because Temple of Doom is one that I thought would be a little bit more impactful with the HDR but in some cases they actually kind of toned down the saturation and I didn't like that as much on that movie as I did the other two so it may be more natural it may be more true to the source but I thought that they missed some opportunities to have some really great highlight moments with HDR on that movie specifically that they missed on but overall you can't really complain about all three of these they're excellent and they look as good as they've ever looked now from the detail and resolution standpoint you'll also see a massive upgrade i've got a couple screenshots here one from raiders where it's the biplane on the water in the beginning with the pilot and look at the blu-ray screenshot zoomed in here on the plane's engine and propeller in the pilot and then look here at the 4k screenshot and tell me that there isn't a huge difference on the 4k you can almost make out the logo on the pilot's hat you can see the different mechanical parts of that engine and the blu-ray honestly starts to become very blurry so you can see how much a 4k remaster helps with these types of movies especially indiana jones which is so beloved now we see more detail than ever before second screenshot here look at sean connery the great sean connery in the last crusade also my favorite indiana jones movie look at his beard and the beard hairs and the structure of that beard and his face on the 4k versus the blu-ray the blu-ray is blurry you start to lose a little bit of focus on the 4k you're almost making out every individual beard hair so it's clear that this 
this is not just a slight upgrade, but as you start to look at more detailed images and if you have a larger screen that's gonna expose more of this resolution, you're gonna notice a huge upgrade in detail and quality. Grain structure is much better. Overall, it's an excellent, excellent 4K picture. And I'd say it's basically reference quality stuff. Spielberg said this about Jaws when he did that restoration, but it's honestly true. These 4K discs probably look better than the 35 millimeter reels did in theaters back in the 80s. Who knows what happened to those reels over time, but these 4K discs are pristine, and it's probably the best that you've ever seen these movies, even if you saw an original in theaters. Now on the audio for this release, we also get excellent Dolby Atmos across the board. So those are brand new sound mixes supervised by the original sound team behind these movies done at Skywalker Sound, which is a part of Lucasfilm. High quality transfers here on the audio side as well. The Atmos track really does add to the full experience. Like the previous Blu-ray had good surround action. It had a good surround soundtrack, but Atmos takes it to the next step. And when you start to hear that object-based surround, especially the heights speakers start kicking in, your surrounds, your left and right, and your back surrounds really start to kick into force a little bit more. And then you notice how things just spread out across that soundscape. It still remains fairly front heavy because it's an older movie and you know a lot of the dialogue is very front heavy, but the dialogue is very clear and they clearly have done a similar restoration to what they did with Jaws and other movies I've talked about. They broke this audio down piece by piece played it out over an entire Atmos track and Atmos capability, and they placed elements in different areas to make for a great sound space. So, as good as the 4K visuals are, the Dolby Atmos is also no slouch, and that is definitely a real benefit of upgrading to 4K. You're not only getting the better visuals, but you're also getting this vastly improved audio experience. So those are all the positives. That's all the great stuff, right? That's the stuff you love to hear. But here comes the kind of negatives, and that's on the packaging. Now, I grabbed the 4K Steelbook from Best Buy, bought it myself, it's about $100, and I did that because the standard edition is almost impossible to find right now. I'm making this video just a day after the release date, and most people don't have their standard editions in their hands, at least in the US. There was an issue with the disc manufacturing, Steelbook discs got pressed first, so that's why those are shipping first and available first, and the standard editions are lagging at least a couple weeks behind. Review copies from Paramount have not even been sent out yet to most reviewers, which is why you haven't seen many reviews on this set yet online. But because of that delay, that's why I went out and just purchased it myself because I wanted it for my collection, I knew I had to have it, I didn't want to wait, and I wanted to get this review out there so you guys all knew while you're waiting for your sets what you should anticipate and what you should expect when you get yours. Or when you finally order yours. Now the negative on the packaging comes down to just the cheap quality of the cardboard so you'll see in some shots here the steel books are nice it's a nice little box set they have cardboard separators in between them but the actual cardboard that the steel books come in is very flimsy especially for something that's supposed to hold four fairly heavy steel books when compared to a standard blu-ray case i would have loved to see them do something more like the rambo set that lionsgate did especially for a franchise of this quality i mean this is a top three American film franchise. You know, what What else is up there? Star Wars, uh, The Godfather, and Indiana Jones. You know, mix in Rocky and, and other stuff, but it's maybe top three. It's one of the greatest American film series of all time. And we got this flimsy cardboard while Rambo gets this amazing steel book set with rubber foam dividers with a steel case, excellent artwork all around. I just like that better and wish we had done something like that from Paramount's side on this release. Now the steelbooks themselves, I don't hate, but I also don't really get the color scheme. You'll see everything is very white, which I just don't associate with Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, I associate with like a khaki color, a brown, a red, something of that sort. And the inside artwork on the steelbooks plays much more to that. I'm not really sure how much I like the white. They look decent on a shelf, they're a nice bright white minimalist type of uh, steel book, but I think we could have done more and the cheap cardboard packaging that comes with it certainly doesn't help. 
Now that's the Steelbooks and the standard edition unfortunately suffers from the same issue. I've heard, although I don't have a copy yet, I've seen some in the UK that have arrived and it's kind of a flimsy cardboard um, that holds the discs. It's a flimsy cardboard box set. Um, everything is just kind of cheap and I really expected premium for a, a franchise of this level. So overall the packaging leaves a lot to be desired. I think it's really the biggest negative to this entire release because the audio visual is so good the packaging just doesn't match up to the quality of the film, to the quality of the restoration work they did, and it really should have been better. Now for special features really quickly, if you buy the Steelbook set, you don't get any Blu-ray discs. You're just getting 4Ks, no Blu-rays, which is a little disappointing because the Blu-rays have also been remastered. And in the Steelbook set, there are no special features. There's just theatrical trailers on each 4K disc. You don't get the bonus Blu-ray disc with special features, but you do get a digital copy of all four films. Now with the standard edition, you are getting Blu-rays included with your 4Ks, which is nice because those are remastered and you don't have to hang on to your old Blu-ray set like I will but you also get a bonus special features disc, which has seven hours of bonus features. They were all previously available, so nothing new. Again, a little disappointing considering this is the 40th anniversary release of one of the biggest franchises of all time. I would have liked to see some new features or maybe even something on the restoration work itself. That would have been cool for collectors, but unfortunately it's all repurposed stuff from the previous Blu-ray, so nothing is new here. And so from that packaging and special features standpoint, it's really disappointing. I mean, I would grade this like a C or a D while I'm giving audio and visual an A, A minus. So it just is, is really a disappointing part of this release. Now overall, I think that this release is great. The audios and visual are great. So as a home theater and 4K enthusiast, I love this. It's the best the movies have ever looked. It's the best they've ever sounded. I love this. But as a collector, who's also a 4K enthusiast, I'm very disappointed because I wanted more. I wanted something better. I wanted something a little more premium, especially paying $100 for a Steelbook set that doesn't even come with Blu-rays. I would have expected a little bit more here from this type of uh, price point, and it's really unfortunate we didn't get that. I think if you can overlook that aspect of it and just be happy with the fact that we now have this franchise on 4K, all the work that the audio and visual teams to remaster, like all the work they did should not be overlooked because of poor packaging. The discs are excellent and you're going to love them. It's the best it's ever looked. You just have to deal with crappy packaging, which happens from time to time. But hey, if we make our voices heard, studios listen, they hopefully do a better job in the future. So that's it for this review. I will leave a link in the description where you can buy the standard edition on Amazon. That link will help support my channel, but I will also link to the Steelbook if you're interested in that from both Best Buy and Zavi over in the UK, which is handling the UK Steelbook release. So thanks for watching this review. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I did lump them all into one video as requested by the community. Um, I put a post out there in a survey and you guys responded. So that's why I did it all in one rather than breaking this out into four videos and making you listen to me four times. We just covered it all here. So hopefully you guys can get your hands on this soon. By mid-June of 2021, these should be getting back in stock at places. But right now, as of making this video on June 9th, uh, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, completely out of stock on the standard edition. Pretty crazy for a franchise of, of this level to see that happen. But that's COVID manufacturing. It's why the studios are partnering together to try to manufacture discs better. They're running into issues left and right with these big releases. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Definitely check out Indiana Jones on 4K. You'll love the discs. Just deal with the packaging. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you soon.